guys, Heather Valentine here from The Sewing Loft, and we are back in my home studio and ready to go for the Love of Sewing Challenge by Baby Lock. Last time you saw me unpack this baby, the Destiny 2, and all the goodies that were included in those big boxes. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to create a really cool subway tile art out of embroidery, and we're gonna do it all from the fonts that are inside this machine. Okay, so we're at our machine. And you can see on the Destiny 2's main screen, it says Sewing, Embroidery, and IQ Designer. We're going to be using, for this project, the Embroidery platform. So when you open it up, the main menu actually shows that there are many embroidery designs already programmed into your Destiny 2. We are going to be focusing on fonts. So you'll notice number three, when you hit it, the little A's, it shows you all the scripts that are included on your Destiny 2. For my project, I'm gonna be using number 10 because I like the way that it looks. Because I'll be typing in a lot, I'm actually gonna use my stylus. Sometimes it's a little bit better than me actually poking around with my fingers, but that's personal preference. So the project that I've shared with you today actually has different sizes on it. And the one thing that I want to really point out is how you can achieve that. So let's just start with a little practice. Here's A. I'm going to do three of them in a row and then I will shift it down and I want to show you. I'm going to do another A, but down at the bottom here, it actually offers you a feature for sizing. Okay, so this one is medium and then I'm going to shift it down again and let's do another A and I'm gonna make it small. Now look at the difference in sizes there. It's kind of hard for you to see it right here. So if you go up to your right hand corner, you'll see a little hoop. Let's press that and you can actually see the difference. Wanna see it full screen? Hit the magnifying glass and you can actually see even some of those little stitches. So that just gives you an example of a few things, techniques that we'll actually be using in today's project. Now, I don't need any of this for our project. That was really just a demo, so I can just delete all of that. And now, we're really just going to get to it. It's all about typing in our words. Our first word is going to be creativity, and I'm going to put it straight across the top, and I would like for it to be in all caps. Since this is my main focus word, I do not want to change the size. I want it as large as I can have it. So I'm just going to go through and type it out. When I think I have it right here, I'm gonna double check over in the upper right hand corner and then I can do a triple check, which is actually in the hoop. When so happy with the way that it looks, I'm gonna hit okay and hit set right down at the bottom. Setting it brings it over to your embroidery function and now you can actually move it around. So we're going to put it right up at the top for now and now I want to show you I would like to edit it. You hit the top edit button and you have a couple of different options. You can move it, size it, rotate it, change out the colors, change the spacing. For this one we're going to change the size. Now if I wanted to make it smaller I would hit the first one and I could make it as small as possible. But again for this project we want it to be full so we're going to Make it as large as it can be, right across and center. So let's just make sure that I got it as big as it'll go. And it looks good to me. So I'm gonna hit okay. And because I'm here, I'm gonna change the color on it as well. So right down here is the thread function. I'm gonna hit that and look at all these colors that are already programmed in. This is going to make it easier for me when I go to actually thread my machine and stitch it out. For this, I'm going to choose a dark red. Okay, hit OK, and then it gives me right back here to my embroidery screen. Now, this is only the first word of many of my project, so I'm going to come down to the left-hand corner and add. And I'm going to continue to add, so we'll come down to number three, which is our font selections again. Ten is our font of choice. And I'm going to continue to add in my words. The rest of my words will be in lowercase. And 
the next word for me is colorful. I want this to be full size. So it's just a matter of typing it in, hitting set, and giving me an idea of where I want it. I would like this to be in gold, so let's edit it. And let's just make it easy, we'll pick that one. Okay, I'm gonna to continue to add. My next word is inspiring. Again, full size. Okay, you wanna just double check it. You can see how it all looks together. I think it looks okay. I'll hit set. We're going to edit it, change the color right down there to the gold, hit okay. Now if you wanted to move it, you have two options. You can move it with your stylus anywhere you like, or you can even use the up and down arrow buttons. We're just gonna put it there for right now. Hit OK, and continue to add. The next word is handmade, because I believe that a lot of creativity is handmade. Okay, like the way that it looks. We are going to edit it. First thing I'll do is change the color. Hit OK. And now I want to move it. This word right now is horizontal across the stream, screen and I'd like to turn it to be vertical. So let's hit the little rotate button on the side and change it to a 90 degree angle. And I know that it's going to be placed somewhere around here. You can kind of see it's coming together. I'm happy with the way that it looks for now. Hit the OK button and come back down and add again. Our next word is be original. So again, I'm gonna keep it large. This time I'm gonna use a space in between my words. Be original, okay, set. And all of these are going to be in that yellow color. Oh boy, return. No big deal, it brought me right back to the screen. You see, I didn't, I didn't hit the edit button, so now I'm gonna hit edit up top, change it. I wanna change the thread color so that it matches the other four, three that are standing out, which is fine. Hit okay to set it in place, and now we're going to move it. And for this one, I am going to lower it down somewhere around here, so it'll be good for right now to give me an idea. Okay, taking shape. Now I'm gonna to continue to add and layer in. Now that I've got all my four pop words, I'm gonna start on my smaller words. They still mean things to me, but I, wouldn't I would like them to have lesser of an emphasis. So again, we're gonna do the lowercase ABCs, that, that little bar across the top underneath creativity, and it says spontaneous and infectious. So we'll start there, my first letter is S, but I need to change it down here at the bottom. Remember we talked about sizing? So I'm gonna go from large to medium, and now I can just continue to type in my word. O-U-S. I would like to put a little emphasis in between when the words are not the same. So put that little squiggle in there. If you make a mistake, you can just hit the back button, the delete button, and retype. want to make sure that I spelled it right. Spontaneous, infectious, perfect. Okay, hit set.
and now I'm gonna move I'm gonna leave this black on my screen just for color coding and I'm gonna move it right up here I want to make sure that they don't overlap but it's just kind of in the right place right now okay and continue to add layer in the rest of your words and move them around your screen until you have your placement just right You'll notice right up here it gives you the dimensions so right now my embroidery is looking like it's going to be 10 inches 10.13 inches long by nine inches wide now i need to change that a little bit and i need this to be a little bit smaller so no problem we can hit the edit button and we'll size it we're going to make it smaller so you can either stretch it out and make it longer which is not what we want to do or you can make it smaller so here we are let's move it on up just a little bit and it just moves them in and you can see when i move it on my stylus that it's not getting exactly where i want to go so these little arrow keys are perfect this one also needs to be scrunched in just a little bit and let's move that guy up just a little bit i want them to land right around the same place and I think that looks perfect. I'll hit OK so that I can bring me right back and I want to put this in memory because I want to save it. I've gotten a good portion of it done and maybe I want to walk away for a minute. I don't want to lose the work that I've done. So we're going to hit memory and the first thing you'll notice is on the bottom of your screen there are all different options. This sewing machine right here with the little pocket on it means that it's going to tuck it inside your Destiny 2, kind of like in the pocket of memory that's in there. This one is for a little USB if you want to um, put a flash drive in the side, or you can attach your mouse, put it in your computer, and so forth. For this, I'm going to put it right into my machine, and it saved it. <clears throat> now, Instead of continuing, I'm going to hit the, how, the back home button so that we can walk away if you wanted to do something else. And it says, is it okay to, to delete the selected pattern? Don't worry. Hit OK. And it brings you right back to your main screen. Are you wondering where it went? I promise it's in there. Let's hit embroidery. And down at the lower right hand corner, you're going to notice it says IQ. It has your little pocket and all those different places that you could have saved it. So we're going to go to the sewing machine in the pocket and look, there it is. It's the last one that we worked on. Okay. You select it, hit set, and it brings you right back to where you were before. You can move any of these around and do any manipulation that you'd like to your design, just as though you were doing it for the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to add in and finish off my design. My embroidery hoop will be completely filled with all of the words that mean so much to me. And there we go. We're all set. Hit OK. OK. And now we're going to, just for safekeeping, hit memory. Go back to your plate, your pocket. So now it's all in there safe and tucked away and we are ready for embroidery. You can see all of, because of the way we did this, all of our threads are lined up in thread color order, so we won't have to worry, it's minimal changes. It will take you a little bit of time, not gonna lie, to embroider it out, but it's gonna be beautiful when it's done. Now that you've got all the words placed just where you want them, it's time to hit that button and watch the whole thing stitch out. I can't wait to see what your design looks like and show you mine hanging up on the studio wall. Be sure to visit Baby Lock and the Love of Sewing Challenge to see what the other designers have in store for you.